Calvary family. Thank you for joining us. Just as we sing this song, just think about who God is, what He's done for us, and what He wants to do for everybody else. Do you experience that love of God? Maybe it's been a while since you've loved Him back. I just encourage you to just to love Him that same way He's loved thank him right now for that love. When I spoke away, you were singing over me. You have been so, so good to me. Before I took your breath,
Good evening, Calvary family. Thanks for joining us. Here we are, Tuesday night, already into March. Isn't that amazing? We've already gone uh, through two whole months. Now, J uh, February is a little shorter than uh, your average month, but still, we're, we're two months into uh, 2021. How? Uh, uh, I don't know if that's awesome or crazy. Anyways, it's just, it's just going by quick. And so uh, I'm glad you're here with me tonight. I hope that you were able to join us Sunday night for our worship night. It was a powerful time. Uh, of worship, and it was really um, uh, inspiring. I was really, uh, God God moved in a strong way, and I really uh, felt him speaking to me in that time, and I, I, I really, um, as we were talking about on Sunday, spending time in God's presence is absolutely essential to uh, learning his desire and his will and his hope for you, learning what he wants for you and uh, the direction he's leading you, and so I hope that you were able to join us. Uh, we did live stream it, so it's still on Facebook if um, if you weren't able to join us, uh, or on our YouTube channel too, and so, uh, but it was powerful. It was a powerful time. And as we were we were worshiping, one of the songs that we sang was um, "Sing About Victory." I'm gonna. Uh, uh, I, I always get Heather will tell you I always sing the wrong words. 
Uh, I always sing the wrong words to this song, which wouldn't be a problem if I didn't sing so loud. But So I sing the wrong words loudly uh, and frequently. Uh, but fortunately, because I'm facing the stage, you oftentimes, when standing behind me, don't hear me. Uh, but periodically, you will see Heather or Ryan or one of the other worship team members kind of smirk or, or smile because I have sung the wrong song. Uh, the wrong words, and so, uh, and so, because anyway, they, they can hear me. So, anyways, but we were praying about victory, or singing about victory, and as as we were singing that, I just had some thoughts that hit my head uh, that, that came into it. Now, I'm like, what what does victory look like? What does victory look like? Um, and I don't know what situations you might be facing in your life. I don't know what circumstances you're looking at, but um, there was a, a, a verse that that came to mind, and then. Um, that I thought I would share here, but also I think is is applicable in so many different places because you know um, every business, every industry, every person, victory looks different. If you're playing sports, it's an easy one, right? If you're playing football, um, victory is easy. Whoever has the most points in soccer, baseball, those are really easy things to see, right? And so those are it's easy trackable, but it's it's different if um, well I don't know in your business I don't know what what does a win look like in a church what does victory look like in your personal life what does victory look like because in you know the reality is that sometimes we ask for God to remove a challenge or a problem and he's trying to teach us something and so we might think victory in those moments is to get rid of the problem when in actuality maybe victory is to learn from the problem and so here is the um, here is the thing I wanted to share with you tonight it's from Jude. Uh, I would say Jude chapter 1, but Jude only has one chapter. So it's from Jude verse 3. And here's what it says. It says, Dear friends, although I was very eager to write to you about the salvation we share, I felt I had to write and urge you to contend for the faith that was once for all entrusted to the saints. You know that word contend really stood out to me. Because sometimes... When we are fighting and struggling against a difficult circumstance and situation, um, we don't fight long enough. We don't fight hard enough. We don't contend with the circumstances or situations. And that's, that, was the, that was what uh, God was really speaking to me last night. I'm sorry, Sunday night during the, the worship night was that what does a victory look like? And you have to really seek God to understand what the victory is in a circumstance or a situation. Uh, but the question is, have you succumbed to the situation and circumstances and just accepted this is all there is? Or are you continuing to contend with your faith looking for that victory? And that's what I really felt like God gave me that word contend on Sunday night to share as part of our devotion tonight was that um, you're facing a hard situation, circumstance. You're facing something that you don't know what the win looks like. Contend for that. Contend for it in prayer. Contend for it in worship. Contend for it in your faith. Fight for that victory. Trust God to show you through the Holy Spirit what victory looks like. This could be anything from a financial circumstance or an emotional or spiritual, uh, a relationship circumstance. It could be all sorts of different things that you need to contend for. Follow the will of God, follow his desire, and contend for a victory. Because ultimately, when God is glorified and we can share the testimony of how we have walked through this circumstance and situation, it allows us to grow the faith of other people. And so I want to encourage you. Maybe you feel tired, pressed down, uh, just, you're just, you're just exhausted. Contend for your faith and let God speak to you and let God change your circumstances. A victory might look different than you expect, but a victory can still be found if we contend for the faith, and we allow God to declare his victory in our life. Let me pray for you. Father, we thank you so much. Father, every circumstance and situation is different. Every challenge, every person is different. You know what we need. You know what we need to see in that victory. And so I pray right now for each person that's watching 
I pray you would help them find that victory. I pray that you would help them to declare your goodness and your glory and that we would contend with a never-ending endurance that relies wholly on you and we would find that victory. It's your precious name that we pray. Amen. Amen. Hey, I want to encourage you, um, share this devotional on your Facebook or even on your other social medias. If you follow us on YouTube, make sure to like and subscribe uh, to our videos. Make sure that you get updates and notifications that way. Uh, but that's a great way so that you don't miss things those ways. But share this video out. Uh, let's encourage people on, uh, on social media world uh, with a good word from God. And so, hey, God bless you. Thanks for being here. We'll be back Thursday night at 7 o'clock. Or you can join us tomorrow night at 7 o'clock in the Joy Center or online for or on Facebook for Pastor Yvonne's uh, What the Bible is All About. God bless. Have a great night.